In this challenge, we are trying to answer the question from UX and design team. They have been working on improving site pages and they want to know which of the landing pages on the site needs the most help. So that's what we're trying to find out. For this, let me go to Google Analytics. Here in Google Analytics, I'm going to go to behavior. And since we're trying to find out the page that needs the most help, in order to do that, we will go to site content and click on landing pages. Landing pages are the first pages that the users see. Landing pages are the first pages that the users see. So we're gonna look at the landing pages, scroll down, and here are the top landing pages. What we're looking for is the page that is the least engaging. The way to find that out is by looking at the bounce rate. Bounce rate indicates what percentage of people who landed on that page and left without taking any action. So if you look at, in this example for homepage, 45.93% of the people left the homepage without going further. They came to the homepage and left. So scroll down and find the page with the highest bounce rate. Here is the page with the highest bounce rate. You can see 76.88% of the people who landed on this page left without taking any further action. So that could be one of the pages that needs help. However, even if you bring this to 0%, that means 100% of the sessions stick around and do not bounce. In that case, you will add additional 450, maybe 425 sessions that'll go further in the site. However, if you look at other pages with very high traffic, so in this case, it's 9,000 sessions. And even though the bounce rate is lower, improving this bounce rate by five or 6% will likely cause more sessions to stick around. So all you need here is about 6% improvement. And here you need 76% or 77% improvement which is very hard to get. In that case, you will focus on this page because all you need is a tiny bit improvement compared to this page, and you will have same number of sessions that will be further engaged. Anytime you see a bounce rate that's above 30%, that can be further improved. However, bringing the bounce rate to under 30% is very difficult. In this scenario where it's 45%, there is still a chance of about 15, 16% improvement. So if I were to pick, I would pick this page, given the limited information we have. If you have more information, then your analysis changes. But given this is an intro level Google Analytics course, this is good enough for the problem at hand.